Hi, everyone. It's Melanie Warner here with Defining Moments Press. We are joined today by the lovely, beautiful Honey Tversky. Honey, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to talk to you about this book and all that you've got going on. Um, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm equally excited and I'm happy we have it here already holding in your hands. I know it's like, it's like giving birth to this little book, baby. It's so fun to actually see it in the flesh. And, you know, you've put a lot of effort and thought and contribution into this. And I just really appreciate you. Um, and I, I just want to kind of share a little bit more about your story and your defining moment, kind of how you became the unexpected leader in your own life. So tell us a little bit more about that. So what I'll start with is I think in the world, my marriage and my wedding was not a usual one. I had a pretty unusual um, wedding and it started off with coming from a lineage and marrying somebody from the same lineage. We both have the same last name and it attracted over 7,000 people. And the, the second part, which was unusual is, is I never met my husband before I got married. So we were arranged to live together for a lifetime wow. and doing that, taking a girl and a boy and they have the same last name and assuming it's going to work is a big risk. And in my case, it definitely was. And I was very young. I was 18 and I knew this marriage is not going to work, but I was scared to do something about it. And that led for me to just start slowly dying, I call it and mm -hmm. shutting down my feelings. Like I, I thought I can make it work. And 17 years later is when I had my defining moment, as you call it. It was when I realized that I can't live this lie anymore. And I was unhappy. I was suffering in silence. I was eight babies later, believe it or not. So I insisted we go to marital therapy. And I went to a lot of people for help and a couple of months into that, I realized I, I was not getting the help I needed. And after a call with my therapist and realizing where I'm at, I had this moment and I realized, oh my God, there's nobody there to help me. And all the devastation from all these years came up. And I intentionally, I filled my bath and sitting into this bubble bath, I took the lid off, so to speak, from whatever covered my feelings in all these years. And I allowed myself to cry and these sobs that came out of me. And it was very intentional, like I trusted it. And it lasted for three hours, just wow. bam. And all the feelings came up and everything I suffered in all these years came shooting up. And after that, I stepped out and I made a decision for myself, which I now is the legacy that I share with my kids, which have has 11 words, simple words. And this was my decision. My life is mine and I choose how I live it. Mm. And from there, I started to do take massage every week and I went to college and I created a 180 degree shift in my life and I put my own health and happiness in the center of my family that's when I stepped into my leadership for myself as a human mm -hmm. as a mother and then was compelled to start sharing this with the world and I launched my first parenting class in 2011. They, they say the greatest gift you can give your kids is your own happiness as a parent and you took that to a whole new level. I mean, being, being a wife, being a mother, having these feelings, going through this major transition that must have felt very public, even though it was a very private thing. It was a lot of other people that it affected as well, obviously. And I love that you created this whole program of helping people get in touch with that part of themselves that's still there, right? We just sometimes we lose that part of ourselves, especially as women, sometimes in a marriage, we really, I, I hear a lot of women say this too, we lose who we are in the relationship and we identify and define ourselves in that relationship. So when that relationship ends, we feel like we end, right? And and it really is just a new beginning, the new rebirth, if you will. So 
that led into you finding your power and creating this incredible program, helping so many other people, and obviously ultimately writing this book. And now your own book is almost done as well that you're going to be releasing. So tell us a little bit more about, you know, how you work with people to help them find that inner leader. Um, and some of the things that you speak about as a keynote speaker, um, and as a, as a coach in that space. Yeah, and I think what what I realize and we talk a lot about is that people don't realize that they're bleeding, so to speak, and they're walking around bleeding. And and what they don't realize is because they think it's something from the past. Something happened to them in the past. And we all have our little story from our past. When we are so fragile as little children, humans are the most fragile from all animals. And when parents are not aware of their impact on this little child who just wants to learn what life is and they project their own unresolved issues on these children, we carry whatever our parents got from their parents. It's very long generationally from a long line of generations. And we think it's something that happened, let's move on. But the reality is, is that Feelings buried alive never die. Mm. And even more so, you, we never die. So this moment, we're here eternally. This moment is connected to the e eternal. So the moment when we were five is also eternal. So and we all play that a lot moment, of those, we play yeah. a lot of those relationships out, like in our marriages or our personal relationships or with a boss or a coworker where we, we tend to like re, you know, we're, we're taking that childhood trauma and reliving it over and over and trying to work it out on other people. And we don't even realize we're doing it. It's a very subconscious thing. So what I love about what you do, honey, is you get right in there and you get to the root of that issue to help resolve that pain so that people can be the best version of themselves. And it's such yeah. a thing and it's such a special sacred space that you hold for people. And you're so good at holding that space and that safe space for people to work those things out, but it actually kind of comes, it's kind of fun. It's really not yeah. as serious as everybody makes it out to be. Like they talk about uh -huh. childhood trauma and you're like, Oh God, please. No. You know, well, I was very blessed. I went from talk therapy, which is a very painful process because they don't give you the tools. Mm -hmm. And then I trained over 10,000 hours, like the outlier amount of hours. And I could say right now, I feel like an inner child expert with the amount of work I've done in myself and with clients and, and training and learning all about our inner child and understanding that it's a relationship, just like you and I, Melanie, talk to one another, we can talk to that little five-year-old girl. And all of a sudden that little five-year-old girl sees somebody talking to her. Mm. Like, oh, she's not alone anymore. Right. Because we need gets... to keep that child. We don't really grow out of that child. That is still part of us. And it's still a big part of who we are. And I think as adults, we get so busy. We get, we focus on being a human doing instead of human being that we forget to play. We forget to have fun. We forget the childlike side of us. And we try, we try to reject that child throughout our life as we become an adult. It doesn't mean we have to give up the fun, playful side of ourselves as well, whether we're in business or in a personal relationship. For sure. And I think what we're missing in, in most, even like healing um, settings is the understanding of this is a relationship and we're not taught. We're not taught in school for sure not how to relate to our younger version of ourself who's still alive in us mm. and create almost like a separation, like the giver and the receiver and create a direct relationship. You know, I had a client where I brought her back to a time when she was in a horrible relationship. And while she was doing, we were doing the work together, she started to cry and she was crying because she was bonding with that younger self who's 10 years younger and that younger self all of a sudden felt the release of somebody's there with me. Somebody gets me and that somebody's you. That's beautiful. And we really are, you know, different versions of ourselves throughout circumstances that happen in life. And we carry so much with us, this heaviness and this weight that doesn't have to be there. And it's a very special sacred honor to be able to help somebody release that. And you're, you're such a, 
your soul is so strong and powerful and you always give people that space. Like I said, that's so safe. And I, I think, uh, um, I've learned a lot from you. So I'm, I'm excited that you're getting to share this with the world. I think it's, um, you're just so good at this. And there's so many people that need this, that don't even realize that, like you said, they don't even know they're bleeding and they're bleeding out all over people. And you don't use another human being like God's, right? You don't pick up another human being and stick them on your arm if it's bleeding. And yet we do it all the time in relationships, both personal and professional. And it really can affect the dynamic at work, at home, um, in our mental health, our emotional, our physical health, our self-worth, our self-love. All of those things affect what happened when we were younger that we're still holding and need to just acknowledge because we keep saying, oh, I'm fine. And that's really not the case. We're definitely not fine. Yeah. And what I realized as well, even in my personal life, when I did all the healing, even with my clients, they track more money. You know, their relationships become better. You know, the, their style of leadership is more from a fullness of who they are. They're not like conflicted and, and fragmented inside of themselves. So the the results that you see just from doing this core work is incredible. It's impeccable. So yeah, I, I believe this is important and I appreciate, you know, your, your acknowledgement. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to share you with the world in this book. And I know that you have a special gift that you'd like to offer people today as well. Tell us a little bit about that. I have a free training that goes a little bit more into and giving you the tools and how to recognize uh, when it's your little self a little girl or a little boy um, who is wants your attention and you give it the attention it's so easy you just give her or him the attention it, it needs she needs or he needs and you pass it and I do I still do this all the time we have triggers but instead of just feeling oh I'm triggered I don't know what to do we learn what to do and and in that training you learn more about that it's free and I do have a bonus. Uh, when you sign up for that training, you get a free call with me as well, a 30 minute call. And I will love to meet you and have a chat and see how I can support you. I Whoever's love this. And, and it's great for a personal relationship, like for an individual, but also for companies who want to understand that dynamic between leadership and the management side and the employees and the staff and the team, because it's like, there's such a dynamic there where sometimes we're challenging our boss or uh, if you're a, an owner of a company, you're challenged with your team because you're playing out those same relationships. And all of that childhood trauma in workplace can be devastating when it comes down to people leaving, you know, your employee performance, retention, recruiting the right people. It all comes down to the culture and the vision that you produce and, and that you create. And that energy and space that you hold for other people. Um, and that really goes a long way today, especially if you're hiring younger people or millennials or people that care so much about purpose and power as opposed to just monetary gain or benefits. And so I definitely encourage you guys to reach out to Hani, um, take advantage of this beautiful offer that she's made and read the book so you get a chance to get her chapter and learn the secret tool that we're talking about. And it's very powerful that you can implement right away. So honey, how will they get in touch with you? What's the best way for them to, to get this uh, free gift? So I do have it on my site, peakleaderships.com. Peakleaderships with an S.com. And it is right below if you guys want to click on that uh, as well as a direct link to it. Also, special pricing during our launch for the book. Um, so if you're watching this back after the launch period or later, like much later, you may not see these offers. So, you know, full disclosure, Go take advantage of it as soon as you watch this before that ends. Um, and I just want to say thank you, honey. Is there anything else you want to add to our our viewers today on uh, for you or any message? Yeah, for I, I do want to tell everybody to have compassion for yourself. And so much of it is not your fault. We were never taught. And sometimes the ignorance of this, of it leaves us questioning if we're normal because we have all of this going on inside. And that's why I'm so passionate about educating everybody, whoever wants to learn more, you can be educated, you can learn more about it and take your power back, take your relationship with yourself back in the most powerful way. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. 
Well, thank you for being here with us today. And all of you, thank you for being here as well and celebrating this birth of this beautiful new book that we have about leadership. It's called Unexpected Leader, 11 Tools for Transformational Leadership. And you can see Hani here on the cover is one of our authors uh, and one of our contributors. And I want to thank you all for supporting this book and this launch. And this is a great opportunity with the, the launch pricing to actually get multiple copies for your team, for people in your organization, your association, your membership groups. Like this is why we created this. We want to make it affordable to reach as many people as possible. And if you want more information on writing your own book or collaborating with us on a book, you can go to mydefiningmoments.com and get more information on that as well, or more info on the book and each of the authors involved in this book. So honey, thank you again for being here and all of you. We look forward to seeing you guys next time. So thanks again and take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Mama. Thank you.